Hello everyone, my name is Antisil and today we'll be playing as Hungary, again. Last time it didn't quite work out as I planned, it turned into a disaster safe, but this time I've done my homework and I'll do better. Uh, the plan is to once again form Austria-Hungary, uh, not, do not fail at it and then uh, do some more conquering and explain some of the mechanics along the way. Now I'll be leaning on the uh, mechanics explained by Atlas Spider in this video where he uh, breaks down the RNG influencing stuff. He calls a lot of stuff placebos. Don't worry, I'll be using all the placebos, but I'll also explain to you what, in his um, expert opinion, does and does not work. Let's start with that, because that's why you're here. Now the event st uh, demands a referendum, and the success of it is decided by two things. One is the opinion of the Austrians towards you, so uh, uh, how much they like you. The other one is if you've done, reintegrate the railroads. Having done those two, which should get you a 95% chance of the Austrians accepting. So railroads and opinion. We're talking about this opinion here. The Czechoslovak annexation decision depends on two things. Whether or not Germany is doing demand Sudetenland and if world tension is about above 20%. Still not 100% chance of uh, Czechoslovakia accepting it, but in, when those things are uh, the case, then you have a 91% uh, chance of acceptance. Uh, one step back, the Austria uh, referendum chance is, is something in, a, in the order of 95%, so probably good to go. Let's go. We'll start with the generic research and we'll uh, keep things up to date until we get more research slots. Do note that Hungary does not start with trucks, so once construction is complete, pick up trucks before you go back to more industry. We'll put down two civilian factories, but don't worry, they will not get built because we'll start with building an agency right away. As for production, do note that Hungary does not start with artillery production, so put a factory on there. And it doesn't hurt to start with close air support early. Focus-wise, we're going all the way to the left, balance budget, all the way to Habsburg Sprints. So these four focuses in a row, no interruptions. The army, just put them in an army and set them next to Budapest or something. There's no real need to put them on the border, we'll do that later, but... This is not a good supply area. If you put your troops here, they might attrition. Five speed, let's go. Things to look out for in your agency. Invisible ink, economy civilian. Localized training centers and foreign department are out of your reach for now, but maybe you'll pick them up later. Diplomatic training is always useful for a lot of things, just technically not here. I'll start with invisible ink. We got our first spy and she's going straight into Germany. And balanced budget is done. We kind of hoard our political power and we'll go for a silent workhorse for more political power. And continue with strength in the monarchists. Next batch of political power is in and since I'm doing a lot with spies, I'll get an elusive gentleman. We will, I forgot to mention, why are we putting spies in Germany? We need to be able to see what focus they are doing. We can't see that now. If you go to Intel Ledger and you hover over here, you see that you need 70% civilian intel to be able to see what uh, focus they're doing and how far they are they have gone. That's not the same as your network strength. I mean, um, this is your network strength, 30%, and that gives us at the moment 36% uh, civilian intel. This will increase with civilian infiltration and with decryption and you'll get more from civilian infiltration if you have uh, invisible ink. That's why we're focusing so heavily on it. So that's that. Now once your spy has reached 35% intel strength, just put her on quiet intel network so she has no chance of getting captured. Second spy is here. Let's prepare a civilian infiltration. Put these spies on it and prepare. And don't just commence when ready. We'll wait for the third spy to arrive to take over the network. Otherwise, we'll just waste a good network. Construction is done. Get the trucks. We have a third spy. Mm, no good choices. Just getting this guy here. 
do switch out your seducer for Mr. Heller here and commence and put this one back on building a regular network. We need that network strength to go up. And another 150 political power and I'll go to free trade. Invite the Habsburg Prince is done. We'll make a detour here to secret rearmament to get partial mobilization early. <clears throat> Do note, we have Otto here, Habsburg restored and our silent workhorse, so we get a whopping 1.84 political power per day. Civilian infiltration is done, we get even more political power. Put all the spies on Germany for now, get that network up to 100%. We can already see that we're on 67% and rising 69, 70, and we can see our focus is now. We have reached 100 network strength, put the seducer on quiet Intel network, and put the other two on diplomatic relations on Austria. Like I said, I'm getting all the placebos. Secret rearmament is done and we'll go for industrial revitalization. We'll pick up the last placebo, the reintegrate the railroads, and then we'll uh, take the referendum. It's, uh, it's fine like this. Let's do partial mobilization. We can do that because of the secret rearmament, so we can do the partial mobilization in secret. The next 100 political power, I'm getting an army offense expert. An advantage of not actually rushing for the referendum with Austria if you look at their focus tree, they're now doing all these extra lovely factories that we get for free. Otherwise, we would have to build those factories. Uh, well, this is um, slightly more efficient, I think. Industrial revitalization is done and we'll reintegrate the railroads. That'll make it a little easier to get good relations with Austria and with Czechoslovakia, even though that doesn't really matter. We got more political power coming in and we'll get an army regrouping expert. Reintegrate the railroads is done and we'll head on over here for demand a referendum and start improving relations with Austria. By the way, a long time ago I built I researched trucks and now we should also try to build them. I'd like to put two on them. You have enough guns for now and put the rest in there. Use the research bonus you have for dispersed industry. And just keep the rest up to date. Don't forget about fuel refining. If you're either going into uh, planes or armor, you need fuel. Doesn't help, but if Austria refuses and you want to go to war, put your army on the border. You can see relations are more than maxed out. Here's the referendum and referendum succeeds. Either Hatless Spider was right or one of my placebos worked. Anyway, Austria is now ours. Keep in mind that this is occupied territory and not core yet. For that, we will go back to the focus tree and the restoration of Austria-Hungary. To prevent too many problems, just set them to a local police force right now. We inherit the Austrian army, just add them to yours. We'll move those lovely spies over to Czechoslovakia. Once again, it's not supposed to be doing anything, but I like to use them anyway. And here's the restoration of Austria-Hungary. We get a nice addicting white color. We get a lot of cores and we can do Czechoslovakia. Now I stated, we need the Germans to do another focus for that, the Neumann Sudetenland focus. Now currently they can't do that, they don't have enough manpower in the field, so we have some time. We'll do some other focuses first. We'll start with support domestic industry. We get some extra factories. Be sure to uh, fill them out. Uh, just put free on uh, close air support and get some extra steel from France, for instance. A few deficits aren't too bad, but we don't want to get them too high. We get extra factories. Uh, I'd like to get one or two more civilian factories and then transition into military factories. Signing a non-aggression pact with the Czechoslovaks that gives us 25 0.25 more relations with them. Can't hurt, can it? I want to be friends with them. 
and a new fighter model has come in and let's start producing them as well something like this support domestic industry is done we're now going to uh, hold on taking a focus and we're going to wait one batch one complete focus of germany to see what's happening that way we can build up a head start on their focuses germany is completing synthetic rubber and they're now going for army innovations too so we can do support urbanization that'll take us 60 days because we weren't doing a focus we'll always have a head start of 10 days now support urbanization is done let's click ok and see what the germans are up to germany is going to reassert eastern claims and we'll go for the research slots here's the next research slot um, let's hold off again and wait for germany to do something and they're going for demand Sudetenland, which means we will go for all the way to the left, protect Czechoslovakia. Another sort of thing of Hatna Spider. Watch the world tension. Is it above 20%? If not, create some world tension, for instance, by justifying on Yugoslavia. Now, once again, I'm improving relations here. That's just a placebo effect. I just don't want it to fail and consider myself having not done something. Factories pouring in. A few more on planes. A bit more on support equipment. One thing to note, Hungary does not start with engineers. Don't forget about to getting him. A few more on guns. Nah, not that many, like eight. We'll build a decent sized air force first and then we'll branch into tanks. Once this focus finishes and we see the effect it's important we don't immediately click on the, on the result to annex Czechoslovakia. We need that event to stay open for a little while longer. Project Czechoslovakia is done. Let's press OK, see what happens. Bohemia returns to the crown. Put this aside. Do not click this one. And let's have another look at Germany. They're doing demands at Denmark. Pausing the game here, putting it a bit slower. I'm unpausing the game until the focus completes and I'm pausing it immediately. It's paused. What happened is the event finished. The demand Sudetenland ultimatum is sent to Czechoslovakia. They now have to decide in the Munich conference whether to give up Sudetenland or not. They will give it up, but it has not happened yet. Now we click this one. We annex Czech Czechoslovakia. The event was sent to Czechoslovakia, not to us. The Mount Sedenland has been bounced off completely. Have a look. Nothing happens. We can safely get our own focus now. And we'll spin the wheels of RNG and claim Transylvania. What do I mean with claiming the, uh, spinning the wheels of RNG? Um, this is a nasty event that can go all the way wrong and we'll just see what happens. I'm going to improve relations with Romania and I'm going to improve relations with the French. I'm going to ask the French to mediate for me. Why is that? Should war break out? Romania is only guaranteed by France. If they join the war, I am in no trouble and I can just take out Romania. Speaking of which, let's deposit an army on their border. And we have another army here, the Czechoslovak army. And we'll put those on the border as well, just to create a bit more momentum once the war does break out. Most likely event will be to get Transylvania or North Transylvania. We'll just see what happens. I'll deploy my spies for diplomatic pressure. Once again, it does nothing, but uh, I like to keep these guys busy. I'll also prepare a collaboration government with Germany. And put those diplomatic spies on it. Prepare, do not commence yet. We might need them. We get a ton of new factories, so be sure to use them. Get like eight on these um, fighters and on close air support. We need a big air force. 
few more on artillery, a few more on support equipment. It's all nice. Do get some rubber to keep up your production. And one more steel should do. Czechoslovakia has a lot of steel, but not that much. We're getting some manpower, finally, because of uh, Czechoslovakia. Put it in your air force. We're currently just sitting on the old fighters and close air supports. And we can get more now once these can deploy. Romania refuses to give up Transylvania. That always happens on historical focuses. We'll go for they went too far this time, which sends more ultimatums. Meanwhile, um, this will take a while, so we don't really need to do this. We'll go for announce the Georg program. And we now have war preparations as a national spirit. Generate war goal tension limit minus 50% and justify war goal time minus 50%. This is a perfect excuse we need to get a war goal on Yugoslavia for the Vojvodina, for instance. We'll approach France as a mediator. The Transylvanian Compromise, we get North Transylvania. Well, if we ever want to form Austria-Hungary, we'll need more. Doesn't really matter. We're going to get more. Yugoslavia is guaranteed by Romania, so we can go for those guys. Let's set up the army accordingly, because, um, well, we haven't been doing that. Uh, let's have a look at our templates. I'm going to use the base template of the Czechs here with nine infantry blocks. I'll give these uh, the scary icon to keep them apart. I'll give them support artillery. I want to give them engineers, but I don't have the technology yet. And I'll get it um, not in time, I think. Or maybe I will, but oh, I wasn't going to click that. This will be fine. Um, Let's see what happens if we switch all of these to the Peggy Divigia. Same here. Um, there's just some tank divisions here. Um, you may remember from my disaster save, they were actually quite useful, so I just like to use them again. We don't ever have the manpower for this, but at some point we might get it. Um, Support wise, it's probably not the best of ideas. Oh, wait, I get Kuij, so this might actually work. Okay. North Transylvania is not as bad as it sounds. We'll let the secondary army just guard what we have here, and the first army will go on the Yugoslav border and prepare an offensive. They will do the actual pushing. I'm confident I can do that because I was able to do that in my disaster save. Conquering Yugoslavia was not really the problem. It was all the other stuff that went uh, terribly wrong. Our collaboration government for Germany is complete and will commence when ready, which is now. Why Germany? Well, last time I played this for myself, I joined Germany and uh, did a power drop on the United Kingdom and pretty much capitulated the allies um, and I wanted to go the other way around. I'll join the good guys and then turn bad guy or something. We have tanks and we'll give them to this you know, scary looking guy with um, the eye patch. We probably also have a new field marshal, several actually, and we'll get this guy here as an offensive guy. Uh, might want to put the other guy on the defensive yeah, we'll give him this one. Exercise, exercise, and see how far we get. But these guys are motorization priority. Uh, the supply is still terrible, probably in this corner. I'm wondering if we should just withdraw from there. Yeah, that's probably for the best. So we'll make a fallback line. Like so. Got 800 trucks, so now we can probably just pick out the decommissioned templates. Pick up that uh, hmm, tank division, which is basically just two tanks, two motorized. Uh, I mean, cavalry, but we'll make it motorized. And we have some extra tanks, so we'll just 
see if this works. Do we have the stuff for this? We don't have the manpower, but hey, that was a general problem anyway. Yep, I'm giving my guys engineers because. Announce the Gior program and we'll go for domestic arms industry right away. Molotrov Ribbon Truck Pact. If you're going to join, join the Axis, it would be a good idea to not declare in Yugoslavia but on Poland so you can uh, get the same war. My current plan will be to um, take out Yugoslavia and Romania, which will be uh, slow going, I guess. So probably finish about the same time the Axis capitulate the Allies, or at least France. Then I'll have manpower enough to start guarding my borders and I might either declare on Germany outright uh, or just more likely wait for Italy to uh, justify in Yugoslavia. We are uh, ready to go. Set the Air Force to attack. Put all the guys out of their training exercises. Uh, wait for Orc to return a bit. Not every division is uh, exercised, but we're not going to wait for that. There are no extra guarantees here, there's just the one from Romania and we want that one. So let's declare war on Yugoslavia. Speed down a bit. Romania is called in. They're immediately attacking. And the Treaty of Trianon is removed. So we go here and do limited conscription. Can we do war economy? No, we cannot. Can we do war propaganda? Well, we should be able to. Well, let's start with Yugoslavia. We'll uh, sing out their uh, tanks at first. Let's gather, by the way, those uh, tanks. Let's try that same encirclement we did in the uh, disaster video, because that one worked out nicely. Secret rearmament is gone, doesn't matter. And we should get anti-air, by the way. It's kind of busy here, but should be able to make this. Going to try the same encirclement. The missing arms industry is done, and we'll go over the research slot. In case you missed the disaster save, the reason this is working is because uh, Yugoslavia and Romania are not in the same faction. They don't have military access to each other. So you can encircle Yugoslavia against the border of Romania, and you can still kill them. Except, of course, I'm not encircling them, they're being pinned, but, ah uh, well, we'll get it done. Here we are. Uh, let's finish these troops off. See if I can cut off the northern part of the uh, Yugoslavian army. Northern Yugoslavia has been cut off and we're destroying the few units there. I want to see if I can get these two tiles here to cut off this troop and these two. Should be able to do that. And another encirclement. Finish it off. We're already out of manpower again. Time to go to extensive conscription. We got Belgrade, probably get Panchevo and try to snake for Skopje while we engage the rest of their troops. These guys are making a blitz for it. We get one on Pristina and the other one on Skopje. Research slot is done and we'll go for a boost in Hungarian aviation industry. What's the progress? 100% we're here. That's Yugoslavia. Now you can just take the areas that you need. I'm going for a chunky Austria-Hungary, so I'm going to take all states. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Also, coastline. I have a coastline. Alright, let's set up Hindi's army to blitz to these victory points in better circumstances than my disaster save. Let's put this guy 
in the offensive field marshal order and he's got infantry expert he can get it and give these guys some strategic redeployments and let's reorganize the air force put them on the balkans do we have more well probably we do we'll reorganize that later Lessons learned from last time. If you're going to snake for victory points, do try to hold them as well. I can probably just sneak in here. And also keep an eye on reintegrate the Empire. We need Grisana, North Transylvania and Banat. Well, if we manage to get in here, Good and well enough, then we'll get there. Making very good progress here. We also got dockyards. Well, we got a dockyard. Start producing stuff. Our tanks are running into resistance here, but... Might be enough. Got a big portion of... Romanian army cut off. No need to kill them. All that equipment will be mine. Yeah, this should be it, right? Yeah, we're here. Well, here's a choice we made. Do you leave these territories for the Soviets? Do you go full out for the Axis? Or will you be tempted to grab all of it and without a doubt get problems with the Soviets. So I'm going to take all states. This means I can push the magic button, reintegrate the empire, and suddenly we have a lot of cores here. Let's recap, we formed Austria-Hungary, and for a change I decided to go with the Allies against the Axis. That means, um, kind of proposed myself a challenge with this one, but um, I'm going to have a lot of borders to cover pretty soon. Um, and I'm only on extensive conscription with no way of raising that. In fact, I'm happy to be on it as it is. Manpower is uh, streaming in. I'll get some armies out there, but I've decided to diversify my armies. I'll keep one army on the good template and I'll put them on Albania to get rid of them as soon as pos uh, possible. Then get rid of this Zara pocket here. And then we'll see. I cannot afford to get rid of Bulgaria, um, th or at least that'll be my last priority. And I'll put armies and forts along all of the other borders. For that purpose, I've recycled the Giag Logdadar template, the old template Hungary starts with, and give them engineers and support artillery just at 12 with they will have to do in combination with the forts. I converted my secondary army to them, exercising and put it those on the Italian border. Might have to pull off a few divisions of those later, but for now this will have to do. I will provoke a fight with the Axis by guaranteeing Greece. If Italy wants Greece, and they always do, they'll have to go through me. Then there's the problem of the Soviet Union. I was greedy enough to take Bessarabia for myself. They will justify for it and they will come for me. So more forts here and um, hopefully um, we'll be able to take them out at some point. Well, I'll be building an air force, I'll be adding uh, support anti-air uh, uh, on all of my divisions, and I'll be developing tanks uh, to counter-attack the Germans at some point. I'll try to support the French um, through trade and possibly land lease, I don't know. Hopefully they'll last, but I'm not holding my breath. So let's see how that goes. Meanwhile, still building collaboration government in Germany. Hungarian aviation is done. 
Um, I want these division, indigenous designs and these bonuses for fighter free and cast free. So we'll have to branch all the way through here. No problem. Also going to go off of free trade because I'm importing so many resources and I should have a few of them myself. I'm going for limited exports. And immediately adjust this um, ridiculous tray tap. Do something more amenable. Adding anti-air to my uh, defense deficiency. I'll just uh, give them this uh, fortress icon to, uh, well, scare off the Germans and um, keep them apart. All right, <clears throat> all of these guys are deployed. They have 100% manpower. And I still have 200,000 manpower left, so I feel confident enough to train another army. Many mistakes in my life had led me to the conclusion that having a reserve army is um, invaluable. I might need to reinforce the Soviet line, or one of these German lines, or the Bulgarians join sooner than I anticipate. Reserves are necessary. Cool. I don't usually do this, but I have maximum compliance with the Germans. Here come the Soviets. Hmm, I could still give up Bessarabia. <clears throat> Not be a stubborn asshole and um, go to war with the Soviets well before I'm ready, while I'm still guaranteeing Greece. Um, sure, you can have it. I will now assume that I'm safe from the Soviets and redeploy my armies. Because now Italy is justifying on Greece. So we'll be having our little war soon enough. Germans declare on the Soviet Union. This might turn out better than I thought. Because uh, with the war against the Axis coming soon, I will be able to team up with the Soviets against the Germans. Here we go, probably. We have now declared war on Italy. We'll immediately attack here. And we'll justify a war goal on Bulgaria, since they usually don't join the war out of their own will. Now, of course, I was still exercising a lot of my armies. That's not the smart thing to do. I'll just, um, you know, let these guys finish up. Germany hasn't joined yet, and these borders are empty. Let's have a close look at all of this. And set the Air Force to support here in the Alps because, well, you know, these guys aren't going to help themselves, are they now? Comintern is asking me to join. I'm going to decline that. Germans are starting to attack. Should be able to hold. Saw this trick from Feedback Gaming. You just kill the units here and they put down new divisions. Well, when, you do, when they do that, you kill those. Uh, to see if we can bleed Italy with that. See, here's a new unit, and we can kill it. Gotta say, this is going better than expected. Improved armor and improved medium tank chassis are done. Also doing developed tanks that will give you a bonus, so I'll just hold off on any new research right now. You gotta start producing tanks at some point, so this will be that point. I'll go for a medium armament, medium cannon, medium turret type, two man turret, no wait, three man turret, radio, special modules, um, extra ammunition storage, no I don't need that. Remove, I'll just go for the uh, special machine guns welded armor diesel engine 84 is what I usually go for it and they still have some decent speed well let's pick out something that looks nice yeah sure 
the Turan. One day I will have to make a turkey video where I form Turan while licensing Turan tanks from Hungary. But that day is not today. We don't have any factories, so we don't need that many on anti-air. We don't we do need this many here. We'll take a few off guns, we'll take a few off support equipment, take a few off artillery. Here we go. This should be fine. The template. Let's make a duplicate of these guys so he can keep them apart. Medium tanks. Medium tanks. Medium tanks. Medium tanks. Medium tanks. Uh, support anti-air is pretty much mandatory. Now this is only a 20 width template. I'm aware of that. Um, let's first build these and um, then we'll see. And we build these, I mean, at some point when we have a nice little stockpile, I'll convert these light tanks. They're running out of tanks anyway. And the allies are asking me to join. Sure. I just want to see how far off I am with taking over the faction. Uh, quite a bit, but at some point I might be able to take over Germany. And this, and this will be fine. Killing a lot of Italians here. And they're gone. Alright, primary army is done here. My first target will be Germany. But where to attack? It would be best to try to reach Berlin. Well, not Berlin per se, but this line here near Stettin. See if I can push in there. Germans are not very strong there, so let's put them here. And give them an order to go north. We'll hand them the entire air force and then uh, well, we'll see how far we can get. All right, we're here. This looks um, doable. Let's advance and cut off some Germans. Field Marshal gets a logistic wizard. There is no happier moment in my life. Speaking of logistics, do keep an eye out. Going this far into enemy territory, your supply is bound to be terrible. We have a supply up here in Brandenburg, but it is not connected. And we're not doing a hell of a job getting to those uh, other supply hubs. So just build some extra railroad here. Put it on top, it's very important, and might as well just build another one here. Put that one on top too. More supply is better. We just have to hold here for a while before we push on, otherwise we're just killing ourselves. Going to see if I can actually punch into Italy properly here, just by um, making a few pushes. The Italians are pretty weak might be able to pull it off. Right, that should be it. Put the upgrades up there. And let's bask in the glow of full supply and push through here. Well, this is a march to the shore. And we have cut off the eastern front of Germany. Now this will do two things. These guys will be um, somewhat weaker and it will at some point um, prevent the USSR from getting too much. Um, if we can keep this corridor opened, we can slowly push on the east side, get Germany dead there and then consolidate the other side. Meanwhile, Sofia is done. I'll send the tanks out to help and don't think they'll need it but just in case, and we'll declare war. And these guys too. Uh, they'll just battle plan. And that's Bulgaria out of the picture. And here we are, kicked from the faction. The ingrateful sods. Well, <clears throat> at least they won't interfere with our bestial shenanigans that we are bound to execute later. And here go the medium tanks. 
They'll need some experience, but uh, they'll get there. At least they're fast, which was what I was hoping for. Now well, that's Danzig already. It's just a Konigsberg port left, and then these guys will really be cut off. And we have contact with the Soviets here. Well, the massacre of Eastern Germany. Race for Berlin before the Soviets get it. And there goes Berlin, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we got Berlin. That's Germany almost gone already. Going from Munich, and now it must be over, right? Germany has capitulated. There are some pockets left. We'll deal with those. We'll set the main army on the Italian border, and they will be next and last. Now this is important. Provisional government of the German Reich. Create that co collaboration government. All the territory they have, <coughs> you don't have to get in a peace deal. We already got an Italian encirclement here. Let's finish it off quickly and see if we can blitz through here to cut off the north of Italy. And it's done. Glorious encirclement completed. And that's a lot of Italians cut off here. And here we are. Now, as you can see, we have a supervised state of Germany. That's not good. Because where's my collaboration government? Uh, it looks like this got messed up. Well, that looked like my trick didn't work entirely. I'll just uh, puppet Italy. And that's the peace deal. Well, here's the peace deal. We have an Hungarian Germany. That was um, outside of the peace deal, so that, that territory is now rightfully mine. There's some uh, German bits and pieces here. Well, we'll get around to that. There's a Polish puppet here. It's here. Silesia. Ugh. The Allies will have to pay for that. I have Italy. There is some Soviet Albania. Skipped a large part, but Moscow is almost mine. I have Leningrad and I have a cipher. Honestly, you haven't missed that much. It's late game Soviet conquest. It's chipping away small encirclements, sometimes a little larger, but it's slow progress. But it's progress nonetheless. Five and a half million for them, one and a half million for me. Running out of manpower, I don't want to go up to extensive to serve by requirement, and well, I never do really. Moscow has fallen. And that's Stalingrad. So we are close. I could probably wait for my final collaboration government, but that will take a few months. And we're closing in on victory, 99%. Pretty much nothing left of the Soviets. And they're gone. And I made a bunch of puppets. Especially for manpower issues. And Russia is now mine. I think I'm going to end it here. It's 1944. The goal of this video was to form Austria-Hungary and take out the Axis, since that's a route I usually don't take. So that's it for the video for now. And um, leave a comment, like, subscribe, etc. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.